everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel so as we all know sephora shop with me's are very popular on my channel and i do them all the time i love doing them so so much and there's one coming up very very soon so stay tuned for that but I've gotten some requests to go Ulta shopping, which I've always wanted to do an Ulta shop with me video, but I wasn't sure if anybody wanted to watch that. But we have all of our Sephora girlies, so I have to make some videos for the Ulta girlies. But this isn't just gonna be a regular Ulta shop with me. This is gonna be a no budget shop with me. So I'm just gonna pick out whatever I wanna try and we're just gonna get it. I love Ulta so, so much. I feel like it's a little bit slept on because Sephora is the new big thing right now. So of course we have to go support our Ulta girlies and do an Ulta shop with me. And of course I'm gonna take y'all along with me to see all of the products that they have because they do have different products than Sephora. Like I know they have Lana lips, which I've been dying to try. And they also just brought Sol de Janeiro to Ulta, which I am so, so excited for. And they also have really good hair care there, which this year i want to focus on taking better care of my hair so it's just going to be a super fun video and i'm also just going to share with you guys some of my recommendations that i personally love and it's just going to be so so much fun so let's hurry up and go to ulta <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to try something from the bubble collection first. I've had so many of you guys in my comments requesting for me to try something and I'm gonna go ahead and try this moisturizer. This is supposed to be for oily skin and I know this one's super popular, the Slam Dunk, but they also have a new one which I've never seen before. It's called the Cloud Surf Water Cream. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these new bubble serums. They also have a niacinamide one and they also have a clay mask which looks very interesting. It looks like they also have a ton of Sol de Janeiro in stock so let's look. This is my absolute favorite scent. It just smells like caramel and it's so delicious. It looks like they only have a few scents in stock. It looks like they have every scent except for the 68 and also the new scent 59. I am personally not a fan of scent 40. I know some people love it, but I just don't really like it. I was actually looking for these. I've been wanting to try the NYX Fat Oil Slick Click, I think is what it's called. I love this shade. Oh my gosh, wait, what? This is a foaming face primer. It's $17, but I feel like we have to try it because this is so cool. I have been holding off getting the Benefit Cookie Highlighter for so long, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I've also been wanting to try the Benefit High Beam. It really reminds me of the Rare Beauty highlighter, but I think I'm going to get the cookie one instead. When I tell you Benefit Mascara has been all over my For You page, I'm influenced. They all say that this one is a really good one, but I think I want to try this one because it's supposed to lengthen your eyelashes. I've also heard really good things about this Benefit Tint. I don't know if I'd personally try it just because I don't really like red on my lips and it only looks like they have two in stock right now, the Flora and also the Go Go. I have been wanting to try this NARS blush forever. It's so pretty. It's in the shade Wanderlust. I think I'm gonna get it. It's just the prettiest purple and I cannot wait to see what this looks like. They have so much ordinary, it's actually crazy. Look at this. They have the niacinamide and zinc one. Ooh, and it also looks like they have the new pink serum. I've really been wanting to try this. I've also heard that this glycolic acid is really, really good. I see this brand all the time and I love it so much. Like I've never tried the products before, but they are so pretty. Like look at this blue one. And this pink one, I know you can find these at TJ Maxx though for a way better price. This one's also so pretty and it's after shave oil too, oh my gosh. This is going to be a restock. I ran out of my touch land so I'm going to get this one. Um, since when did Tarte have their own bronzing drops? It looks like they have four shades to choose from. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the champagne glow. I love that there's multiple shades. Oh my gosh, wait, these are so adorable. It's the Tarte Maracuja but shimmer version. This shade is so pretty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the shade Pearl because this one is just absolutely stunning. 
This is so cute. It's a Real Techniques powder puff, but it's kind of weird because one side's for liquid, but one side's for powder. If you are gonna get a powder puff, get the e.l.f. one. It's so good. They have all of the e.l.f. lip oils. I recently got the Coral Fixation one, and it's an exact dupe for the Dior. These lip exfoliators are also really good. I have the strawberry. I've heard so many good things about these e.l.f. Squeeze Me lip balms. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the Honeydew shade. I just really love the color and I just love that name, Honeydew. Let's get it. These were so viral last year, the e.l.f. Halo Glow wands. Let me know if y'all like them or not. I've heard that this shade in the blush is an exact dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. Of course, we have to pass by the Tree Hut section. I love Tree Hut. I've heard so many people talk about this, but I've never seen it in person. Supposedly, this smells just like the Sol de Janeiro 62. These cleansing balms are so interesting. Each one has a different effect and I think that's really, really nice. They also have this trio pack, which I think would be perfect if you are wanting to try some of these. I just ran out of my deodorant and I'm not even gonna lie, the packaging on this one is making me wanna get this one. These lip balms are so, so cute, but they don't really work well. Why is this tiny little lip balm $10? I've always wanted to try these, but I have so many lip balms, and look at this, a freaking banana lip balm? That is the most cutest thing I've ever seen. If you're wanting to try a face mask, I recommend these Tony Moly ones, and also the Pacifica eye patches are so good. They also have the cutest Hello Kitty ones for all of these Sanrio girlies. This mask is so adorable. I've never seen this before, but it looks really nice. It has nice cinnamide and strawberry. I think this would be really good. I found some more bubble and it looks like this section has a lot more products. They have this acne treatment pen, which I think would be really cool to try. I wonder if it works. I've also heard Peach Slices is such a good brand. They have this snail rescue line, which reminds me of CosRx. And I heard this mask will leave your skin so soft. I've also heard that their redness relief line is a dupe for the Tower 28 SOS line. So I'm very curious to see. This looks like it would be so good. It's a deep moisture mask and Tony Moly is so good. These also look like they would be so good, but I know that pads aren't really the best for your face. Let me know if anyone has tried them. I can never justify buying this. It's literally a bottle of water. I've also heard that Panoxyl is so, so good. If you struggle with breakouts, I would definitely try this. This is my favorite face wash at the moment. I have sensitive and oily skin and I absolutely love this face wash. And this is hands down my favorite moisturizer. I've been using this since high school. I've heard so many people rave about Bioma. I've actually tried their eye cream and it's really, really good and also really affordable. I honestly didn't even know that Clarins was in Ulta. I really want to try this lip perfector. Apparently you can also use it on your cheeks and it's so pretty. And then I know the Clarins lip oil is super popular. Not as popular as the Dior, but I've really wanted to try this. A YouTuber I watched did this super pretty lip combo with this ColourPop's lippy stick in the shade O oh Snap. So I'm gonna get it so I could try it. This is so cute. They have a little ice roller. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have found the Lano Lips. They have this Lano Lips lip water, which I think is like a lip gloss, but I just think it has a funny name. I really wanted to try some of their ointments, but it looks like they only have the apple. And I didn't even know that they had tinted balms. And they have this really nice trio pack. I really wanted to try the banana one, but obviously they are all out of stock. So we're just gonna go with this one today. I used to use this hair mask and I'm not sure why I stopped, but it made my hair so soft. I definitely recommend. I have wanted to try something from Way for so long and I've heard that this scalp and body scrub is so good. I've also heard a lot of good things about their detox shampoo. I feel like Olaplex was so, so popular in 2022, but I think I wanna try something. I think I wanna get this Olaplex Bond Smoother. I've heard that it's really good for your hair. Also, if you are a blonde girly like me, I've heard that this is so good. I've been looking for a new shampoo and conditioner and I've heard that this one makes your hair really soft, so I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh, I have been wanting to try this for the longest time. It's the color changing blush, but they don't have any more, I'm so sad. All of the Fenty lip glosses are so good. I think Sweet Mouth is the cutest shade that they have. I really, really wanna get this. It looks so pretty. 
everyone that I see wear it looks gorgeous in it. I kind of feel like Dior is a little bit overhyped. We all know that the lip oils are kind of mid, but I've been wanting to try one of these lip glows, but I don't know. Too Faced just came out with a new lip gloss and they have this blue shade, which is really interesting. I wonder how it looks. I want this brush so, so bad, but it's also $65. I have heard nonstop good things about this concealer. I've also really wanted to try the new Hourglass Skin Tint. It is $49 though, which I think is a little bit on the expensive side. I've seen these Hourglass Glossy Bombs on my For You page and I really want to try one. They look so pretty. I remember I used to want one of these so bad, but they're $60. I'm actually so surprised that Drunk Elephant has all three drops in stock. They never have all three. They also surprisingly have a lot of the Lala Retro and Proteiny cream in stock. But of course we have to look if any of the 10 year olds have been here. And unfortunately, it looks like this Ulta was a victim. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is literally freezing outside, but I am finally out of Ulta and I got so many fun goodies to try. Of course, like always, I'm going to do a haul when I get home. Also, I thought it was going to be way more expensive. That's why Ulta is on top because all of that at Sephora would be like $500. I ended up spending around... 250 which is still like some damage but it's definitely not like sephora which i would be my bank account would be crying but yeah i'm gonna do a haul when i get home so stay tuned for everything i got and i will see y'all when i get home all right you guys so i am finally back home with all of my ulta goodies i'm just gonna be showing you guys everything that i picked out i got a lot of super fun goodies so let's get into it okay so the first thing i picked up was the mega babe daily deodorant in the scent rosy pits i've been needing a new deodorant and i've never tried this brand before but it's supposed to be like a clean deodorant brand and honestly 50 percent of the reason i bought it was because it's pink so i will let y'all know if this is actually good or not then i thought this product was super cool it's the meredith duxbury i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's by morphe and it's a foaming face primer which i just thought was so interesting and that's what it looks like i'm just really curious to see how it works and if it really keeps my makeup on so definitely stay tuned for my first impressions video then i ran out of my touchland hand sanitizer and i just love these to keep in my bag because they're really slim and just fit in my bag perfectly and this is in the scent berry bliss so i cannot wait to see what this smells like i feel like it's gonna smell really good then Everybody and their mom has been asking me to try bubble skincare. So I decided to grab the Level Up Balancing Gel Moisturizer. This is supposed to be the one for oily skin and I've been needing a new moisturizer. So I'm going to trust y'all that bubble is worth the hype. And this is what it looks like. And it apparently has the cool little pump like the drunk elephant for like 10 times less the price. So we're going to see if it's good. All right, and you guys know that I wanted to try something from Lano Lips. Unfortunately, they were all out of their lip ointments, which is the thing that I really wanted to try, but I decided to grab this Lano Lips lip water. I just think that's like a cool name. I think it's supposed to be like a lip gloss or something, but I'm also interested in the color. Like it's a little bit on the yellow side. I don't know if it's supposed to be yellow, but... We're going to try it in my video coming up, so don't worry. The next product I was super excited to find, it's the new Tarte Key Largo Glow Drops. These are like their version of the bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. And I just thought these were so cool. I got it in the shade Champagne Glow. And I thought it was super cool that they had multiple shades to choose from. So I got the lightest shade and these are what they look like. And I'm really interested to see how these compare to the bronzy drops. So I'm super excited to try these. Then I just picked up this lippy, this lippy sticks from ColourPop in the shade Oh Snap. 
I just grabbed this because I saw a YouTuber that I watched. She did a lip combo with this one and it looked really pretty. So I wanted to try it out for myself. Then, of course, I had to get the Viral Pink Serum. I have been wanting to try this, but I wanted to see the reviews on it first before I just went out and bought it. And look at that. Very pink, very pretty. Looks like Pepto-Bismol, but I cannot wait to try this on my face. And this serum is supposed to be very good for like strengthening your skin barrier and stuff like that, which I definitely need need. Then I decided to get two of the e.l.f. Squeeze Me lip balms. I have wanted to try these for so so long. I got the vanilla frosting shade and then the honeydew shade. I was super excited to find this one because I don't have anything in this scent or this color or anything like that in my lip gloss collection so I have a feeling that this one's going to be super good. And then I just had to get the vanilla because it's a classic and I love vanilla. Then I picked up this beautiful blush from NARS. It's it's in the shade Wanderlust and it's like this beautiful purple. I've actually been looking at this blush for a really long time but couldn't justify buying it for myself but I finally got it today. I just want to swatch it on my hand because it just looks so pretty. Like isn't that so gorgeous? I'm just super interested to see how it's gonna look on my skin so I'm very excited to try this. Then I have heard non-stop good things about Benefit mascara. I've heard that they are all super good so I decided to try the Their Real Beyond mascara. This is supposed to be the lengthening one which I love my eyelashes to be super long and apparently this is how it's supposed to make your eyelashes look and I saw on TikTok a girl using this and her eyelashes looked so beautiful so i cannot wait to see if it does the same thing for my lashes like i said at the beginning of this video i really want to use 2024 to take better care of my hair and i have heard really good reviews about the redken all soft line i got the shampoo and conditioner and i've just read that these make your hair so so soft so we're gonna see if that's true or not then i also picked up the olaplex clarifying shampoo and it's like this really pretty blue shade i've really been needing a clarifying shampoo just to get all of the extra stuff out of my hair and it was between the olaplex one or the way detox shampoo but i decided to go with this one and i'm not even gonna lie it's because it's blue and i thought it was prettier so we're gonna see if this works as well. Going along with the hair care theme, I decided to pick up the Olaplex Bond Smoother. I've heard that this is really good to put in your hair after you shower and it just makes your hair look very healthy and shiny and just super good. So I cannot wait to try this in my hair care routine. Then I'm a really big fan of the Maracuja Tart Juicy Lips and they recently just released a shimmer version. So this is what it looks like and I got it in the shade Pearl. I picked this shade because it just resonates with me and it just looks so so pretty. The camera doesn't do it justice but it is just the prettiest most sparkly white lip gloss and I cannot wait to see how it looks like on my lips. And then the very last product that I picked up was the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. I swear every girl who I see wear this looks absolutely stunning they put it on their nose and their inner corners it just all looks beautiful on every single girl that i've seen wear it so i had to try it for myself and i'm very very excited because it's such a pretty highlighter but yeah guys that was officially my no budget shop with me at ulta i had such a fun time filming this video and definitely be on the lookout because my next video i want to film me trying all of these products so if you'd like to see if these products are worth the hype or not definitely subscribe so you can see that video i am so so excited to try all of these products and i'm going to be giving my 100 percent honest reviews just like always and i just want to say thank you so so much for watching this far comment this emoji if you did i just love to see who stays to the end of my videos and watches them all and i will be liking all the comments that comment this emoji and yeah guys i also just want to say i am never trying to brag with these hauls in any way at all i just love filming these and i know you guys love to watch them but i love you guys all so so much and i hope to see you all in my next video bye